if our goal is to always stay somewhere with a lot of character, we certainly did it this time. <laughs> when we drove up, we knew we were in the right place because there were all these boulders that came from building the jetty side at Jacksonville. It was easy to tell we were at the right Airbnb. Melissa was our hostess and we didn't actually get to meet her, but we sure got a lot of idea about her personality and her travels around the world and the Bahamas from her cabin and the camper and the other little cabin where we stayed. Our cabin has a huge porch all the way around and in front of it was even a sailboat and a submarine. So we knew this was a place where people love the water. It's right on the St. John's River. We could watch the ferry coming and going. You could also watch cruise ships and all of the kinds of container traffic traveling through. So it was a fantastic location for people like us. We couldn't wait to go inside and take a tour. Okay, next. <laughs> the cabin. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's a little bit dark in here now. All right, so that is the cabin. There's a sofa bed and a window AC unit and a refrigerator and there's one of those clever little table and chair sets that folds all up together right there. A lot of wicker around here. There's a spot over here that I'm using to put my luggage on and a spot here we're using to put some clothes on. And then there's a table there if I do any writing tonight. I'll use my laptop at that table. And the most interesting is, I'm not sure if most interesting is the tile or the inflatable boat that you're supposed to bring down here and sleep in. Maybe it's just one of those mattresses. So from here, clever little spot where all the towels hang. All of the linens are here. And I mean, there's everything you could possibly want. There's a crock pot and toaster and blender and, and oh, there's actually a tea kettle there that we could use for coffee this morning. And there's plates and forks and knives and little bitty apartment sized stove and a microwave. And all kind of pots and pans and build doing dishes. Coffee maker, of course we travel with our own. And there even is a shower which oddly enough has a seat in it. <laughs> and a seahorse. And the bathroom doors are really cute. They're very clever. And it was surprisingly modern back. It looks like it's just been Redone. Really cute. And that is the grand tour. These are some reclaimed doors from somewhere. And this is the fantastic view. Looking out onto the river. Really cool place. We'll have to hear the story of why the tiles are so mismatched. But the views are wonderful. I think we're going to go eat, get some seafood or something close by and enjoy watching the boats go by. We headed over to the Sand Dollar restaurant at Mayport and we were able to watch the ferry and some other container ships go by. They have plenty of outdoor and indoor seating and the views are pretty spectacular. The ships go by right next to you. After dinner, we headed back to the Airbnb to figure out the sleeping situation. Okay, so let's see what's up with this. <sighs> Am I supposed to sleep on this? Am I supposed to crawl up there and sleep on it? Am I just supposed to bring it down here? tonight instead of that fold out sofa because you know how fold out sofas are here it goes all right so update 
from the most unusual Airbnb that we have ever stayed at. So last night we pulled the sofa out and we put the air foam, memory foam thing on the sofa and it was still really uncomfortable. So tonight we did the thing where we, oh, there's the water heater, where we pulled the little boat out from up there and we put it down here. So the boat's down here and we're gonna put the memory foam on it, put the sheets on it, and we're gonna sleep on that and I think we're gonna sleep a lot better. Or we're so tired from trying to sleep on the fold out sofa last night that we're just gonna sleep better all the way around. Oh, very nice. The tide is high. Uh oh. There would be surprise at how um at how high so now the chain that was drooping like yeah could have kayaked underneath yep. it, no problem. The chain it, so that that's like a <gasps> foot off the water. I've got to go look at it. Okay, so here's the thing. We've got the memory foam on there, yeah. but it kind of curls up. Yeah. So I don't know if there's a way to make it stay down yeah, well, or if it's just going to curl up around us. When we, when we put the mattress over the whole thing. What mattress? Yeah. <laughs> and then this corner pops up. Okay. Well, when we lie on it, it'll flatten out. I arrived to see the sunrise. Thought I would have breakfast out here. Got some oatmeal I made at home and of course coffee from the French press and I think I'll just hang out here and listen to the laughing gulls laugh and listen to the sound of the water. Thanks for watching. Here's a picture of the Jean Rebault, the ferry that we were able to ride across the river. And that's also on my channel. So please like, share, subscribe, and check out the blog for all of the rest of the article about the Airbnb. Thanks for watching. See you next week.